There are four assault rifles that really stand out in the Division 2, and after playing for 180 hours, I've come to a few different conclusions as to which assault rifles are the best. I understand not everyone's going to agree with what I'm about to say since this is a subjective topic, but I welcome you to leave any suggestions or criticisms in the comments section. One thing worth mentioning before we dive into the four best assault rifles is that they're all outfitted with my favorite mod setup. The ACOG scope which gives 20% more optimal range, the extended 556 magazine for more magazine capacity, the angled grip for 10% more stability, and the Omega 556 rifle suppressor which gives 20% more stability. Just as a disclaimer, I don't have all the mod blueprints yet, so my optimal assault rifle setup is susceptible to change. Anyway, the assault rifles you see in this video are also all modified for 20% more magazine capacity. This setup offers the most stability and optimal range, making the assault rifle great for all distances. Anyway, let's get into the list. The fourth best assault rifle is the Police M4. It does the least amount of damage out of the four assault rifles, but it also shoots the most rounds per minute, which makes up for its lower damage. The problem with low damage, high RPM assault rifles is that you'll end up having to reload much more frequently than a high damage, low RPM assault rifle. The Police M4 has very good stability, decent accuracy, and a pretty far optimal range. One thing that I really like about the Police M4 is that it helped me advance through the world tiers very fast. After completing one tier, I would simply craft a new Police M4 replica for the higher gear score to help me get to the next world tier. The third best assault rifle is the MK16. This rifle does the most damage per round out of all four rifles, but it also shoots less rounds per minute than the other four rifles. One difference that makes the MK16 slightly better than the Police M4 is the MK16's reload speed, which is a little faster. But other than that, the MK16 and the Police M4 are very similar as far as stability, accuracy, and optimal range. The MK16 could be the best weapon in the game if it shot more rounds per minute. Unfortunately, it's just a little too slow to be number one. The second best assault rifle is the custom P416G3. This rifle is monstrous, and I have a feeling a lot of people are going to argue that this is the best assault rifle in the game, and I won't blame them. The custom P416G3 acts as a middle ground between the Police M4 and the MK16. It shoots 125 rounds per minute faster than the MK16, and 100 RPM less than the Police M4. As far as damage goes, it does a little less damage than the MK16, but quite a bit more than the Police M4. The one thing that holds the custom P416G3 back from first place is its accuracy. It has the worst accuracy out of the four assault rifles, but it does make up for that with its damage output and RPM, so if you're looking for an assault rifle to use at close to mid-range, this might be your best choice. As you may have guessed from the thumbnail, I think that the ACRE is the best assault rifle in the game. Massive Entertainment definitely spent a lot of time trying to balance out all the weapon statistics where one weapon might excel in accuracy, it might come at the sacrifice of stability, or maybe a weapon doesn't do a whole lot of damage but it shoots a lot of rounds per minute. I think that the ACRE has the most optimal balance of any assault rifle. It does a little less damage than the MK16, but it shoots 25 rounds per minute faster. It also has the best accuracy and stability out of the four top assault rifles, making it the most effective assault rifle at long range. There does come a point where you'll need to shoot short bursts to kill enemies more effectively at range, but that goes for every assault rifle, and I think that the ACR is the best at it. Assault rifles are my favorite weapon type in the Division 2 because they're effective at all ranges. Obviously, they aren't as effective as marksman rifles for extreme distances, but it's pretty rare to come across a situation where you'll need to kill someone from that far away. So, having to switch to any other weapon during combat is fairly uncommon due to the assault rifle's adaptability. One of the only reasons I would switch to another weapon is if I were to run out of ammunition for my assault rifle, or if I need to take out a heavily armored enemy, in which case I'd switch to an LMG or signature weapon. Alright, so what do you think is the best assault rifle in the Division 2? Let us know in the comments section, and if you like this video, please consider dropping a thumbs up on it, 
And if you like what I'm doing in general, please consider subscribing. That would help out the Havoc Gaming channel a ton. Thank you so much for watching, and Godspeed.